Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, R. And I'll be demonstrating how to work this out on a Casio ClassWiz calculator. But you're very likely to see a similar function on any modern scientific calculator. So do check out your manual to see if there is a function there. So what do we mean by this product moment correlation coefficient, R? Well, let's have a look at a scatter diagram. Here in this scatter diagram, you'll see these points here. They're decreasing and they, in fact, lie on a straight line. And we give a value of R equaling minus 1 for a situation like this. It can be any line that's decreasing, as long as it's straight. Here I've got several points here. They're decreasing, and you can see that we've got a line that can be drawn through them. And again, r is equal to minus 1. And so we have a value of r equals minus 1, which tells us we've got perfect negative linear correlation. Now at the other extreme, if we take a look at this scatter diagram, we've got points again in a straight line, but this time they're increasing. If I was to draw that line through, we give a value of r equaling 1. And it doesn't matter what set of points we've got, if they're increasing and in a straight line, as you see here, then again we give that value of r as 1. And we say that we have perfect positive linear correlation for that value r equals 1. Now if we take a scatter diagram, say something like this, that doesn't appear to be a line of best fit. So what we're going to have is zero correlation and we assign the value r equaling 0 to that. So when we've got r equals 0, there's no linear correlation. So what we've got then is that Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient r lies between minus 1 and 1 and it can include those values. Now what I've got in the next scatter diagram is a set of points which are clearly not in a straight line and we've got their values up here. The line of best fit, if you like, would be a line, say, something like this. And we'll be looking at working out the theoretical line of best fit. It's called linear regression. We'll be doing that in a later tutorial in more detail. But we'll briefly talk about it later on in this tutorial, as you'll see. Now, I would expect to get a value of R to be fairly close to 1 because these observations are clearly going in a positive sense, as we see down here. So I'll show you now how to work out the coefficient r on a scientific calculator such as this one, the Casio class Wiz. What we need to do is make sure we put this in the statistics mode. And for this calculator, we need to hit the menu button here, and select option 6. So if we select option 6, the statistics menu, we now go on to this one here, number 2, which is for two variables, x and y. So we select 2, and it brings up this table of values, where we can input our points, the x's and the y's. Now we'll start with the x's and we'll t enter these values that we see here, 1, 2, 3 and 5. And we do that by just entering the 1, press equals and you'll see it's entered into the x column. We do the same now for 2, equals, then 3, equals and then 5, equals. So that's our observations for x entered. And we now need to take the cursor to the top of the Y column. And we can do that very quickly by touching this one here, the cursor down, 
and you'll notice it pushes it right up to the top of the X column and now we just need to send it to the right by pressing this cursor arrow here. Now we're in a position to enter our Y values 1, 3, 6 and 8 and we do that just by doing 1, press equals, then the 3, press equals, 6, press equals and then the 8, press equals. And that should be our data entered. You might want to go back and just check that you've got the right values in just by moving the cursor up. So if we just send it up like so, you'll see that we've got the correct data entered. All we need to do now is work out the product moment correlation coefficient R. And to do that, we select the option key here. So if we hit that, we're presented with this menu here. And we need to select option four, regression calculations. So if we take four, you can see that what we're presented with now is a set of results. Now the correlation coefficient R turns out to be 0 0.9730 and so on. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in as 0 0.97 and so on. And that's what we would expect. 0.97 is very close to 1, showing us that we have got the points closely lined up with a straight line, something like this. Now, I did briefly mention about the line of best fit, often known as linear regression. It turns out that on this calculator, that equation for the line is of the form y equals a plus bx. And you can see that A is minus 0.37 and so on, and B is 1.77 and so on. And if I round those values for A and B to one decimal place, we get this as the equation of our straight line. And if I was to draw that line on, it would look like this. This would be our line of best fit. And remember, we can easily draw this line just by taking a value of X say x equals 1, work out the value of y, and maybe say the value of x equaling 5, and work out the value of y, and then just join the corresponding points together. But I'll be looking at this in more detail in a later video called linear regression, if you ever want to follow that up. Now I've got another example here, where we have this scatter diagram, which corresponds with this set of observations. Now you might want to pause the video at this stage and just work out what your calculator gives you for the product moment correlation coefficient. But I'll take you through this in a moment. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all, I would look at this and know that I'm expecting to get R as a negative number because the points are decreasing. And if we were to enter those values in, what I'd need to do is just clear the menu. It goes back to the table there. I could just overwrite these points here, or I could go back to the menu and select six. And remember it's number two here for the bivariate data, two variables, okay? So if we select that, we've got a clean table. And we can enter our points for x, that's one equals, one equals, two equals, four equals, and six equals. Send the cursor down again, and then across to the right, and now we just enter the value seven, 10, six, three and finally one and that's all our values into the table. I could check them just by sending the cursor up or assuming that they're correct just select the option button here. Remember I now take option four regression calculations and we get that value for r which is negative minus 0 0.940 and so on. We're expecting a negative value, and those points seem to be fairly close to a straight line, something like that. So let's put that value in, r equals minus 0.94 and so on. 
And if we took these values for a and b, put them into our equation of the form y equals a plus bx, we get the line of best fit. So rounding those values for a and b up to one decimal place, we get this as our straight line. y equals 9.7 minus 1.5x. And again, if you take a couple of values for x and work out the equivalent y values, plot those points on, you'll get a line of best fit, something like this. Now you might want to just check out on your calculator that you get r equals negative 1 for these observations here or these ones here. Check that you get r equals 0 for these observations and similarly r equals 1 for these observations here. Now when it comes to working out r, we're very lucky if we're allowed to just type in our values on a calculator and it just produces it for us. But obviously it's doing some calculation behind the scenes. And if you want to know what that calculation is, I have got that in an accompanying video. So as usual, thanks for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you again in another video.